Hey gang, Duvall here with an all new unboxing special right here on ToyWorldOrder.com and on YouTube.com slash ToyWorldOrder. Today I got an awesome box, a huge 10 pound box of stuff from my buddy Brent Scrano. Um, I, I ordered a couple pieces from him for uh, for some, some figures that I needed and he ended up sending me this huge 10 pound box monstrosity. Uh, he was like, I sent some stuff for you and Carrie. So uh, let's take a look at it. I already, uh, already opened the box. Uh, again, no, no box cutter uh, fights with Puppet Duvall. It's, it's, it's complicated, gang. It's complicated. But there's some really, really cool stuff in here. First off is a uh, Shirt Tails. It's a larger Shirt Tails figure uh, of Rick the Raccoon, uh, which uh, is an addition to our Shirt Tails collection. And unfortunately, uh, I'm still missing the Hardy's version of Rick the Raccoon. Uh, this version is awesome to have because these larger versions are kind of hard to find. But I really, uh, just to finish off, there was a Hardy's line of these. And I think we're just missing Rick the Raccoon. And he's smaller. He's about probably about that big uh, to this Rick the Raccoon. But this is awesome. He's in uh, really good shape. Uh, the shirt's in really good shape. Uh, and I, I love Shirt Tails figures. Anyone that uh, that needs to, that's looking for stuff to hunt these down, there's so many of these they released. Uh, the characters not only from the Hanna-Barbera series, but also more characters beyond that that had different sayings on their shirts. And very, very cool. Uh, it's a cute little creation from the 80s, and uh, I, I love shirt tail stuff, and this is very awesome. Uh, next up, there is a uh, small soldier 60-piece puzzle in here uh, with some great artwork on it from based on the, uh, the the film, the DreamWorks film of the same name from uh, 98. Uh, small soldiers is kind of uh, one of those things that's now starting to increase in popularity. People are uh, actively seeking out the action figures and the toys to look for them. Uh, they're rising in price. They're really hard to find. There's pretty much anything small soldiers-wise is now becoming collectible because a lot of those kids are now uh, to the point where I was when I started collecting. They're like, oh my god, I want those. And Thus, the toy collecting industry is always, you know, it's always a big circle. It just goes around and around every generation. It's, you know, it just keeps hyping up. So, Small Soldier's Puzzle, really cool. Uh, I can't wait to, I love love puzzles. I love putting that stuff together. Uh, some kids' books are in here. There's the, uh, the the Double Dare game book. Anyone who uh, who was a kid uh, in the 80s and 90s remembers Double Dare and host Mark Summers, uh, who, of course, uh, went on to host the show on the Food Network, which was really, really popular. Uh, but this is awesome. This is great. That's never been used. Uh, a lot of little challenges in here. Kind of, kind of a way for you to play Double Dare at home, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, Carrie was really excited to see these. There are some uh, some Muppet Babies books in there. Some Muppet Babies kids books. Uh, one of them is uh, Piggy for President, a book about friendship. That's pretty cool. And these were all. Uh, the Muppet Gang when they were kind of in grade school, not Muppet Babies, but when they were in grade school. Uh, the next one is A Piggy Isn't Talking, a book about communicating. That's pretty cute. She's got a, an older uh, Janice there with her. That's that's adorable. And uh, Something Special, a book about love with uh, Fozzie and his grandfather, which uh, these books were all about. Uh, these were kind of all moral tales. Uh, kind of uh, they, they were gifts that parents could give to their children to kind of understand these positive values. And these values to grow on series were really cool. And these were... Um, these were kind of along the same lines of the book series as you can go into a supermarket and buy every week. Um, these were one of, I believe, one of those Muppet Press book uh, kind of book series where you could go into like your local grocery store. Um, you could pay, you know, $3 a week and buy a new book. So there was a whole series of these. Um, don't know how many, but I know there were a bunch of these. And those are really cool. Uh, next up, speaking of keeping with the Muppets, is this really cool stuffed Fozzie. And I know there was a tag on Yes, from, uh, from Nanco. Um, I, what's funny is Carrie and I just filmed a bunch of uh, collection expansion episodes, and on one of the episodes, unfortunately, he's put away now. But on one of the episodes, we actually uh, showed off a, a Van Co uh, Fozzy, but not like this. Uh, this Fozzy, the Fozzy we reviewed, looks like something that would come out of the Claw game. This Fozzy has a little hang tab on him, so either he was uh, a license item that was sold to carnivals for prizes. Uh, or he was in an arcade as a licensed prize. It's hard to tell. Vanco made a lot of product uh, specifically for claw games and for prizes. Um, and he was one of those. And he's, he's very unique. He's, he's stuffed with which feels like uh, not stuffing but peanuts. Um, and he's, he's really well done. I mean, it's just a, just a gorgeous stuffed, uh, stuffed Fozzie. Uh, I love finding stuffed versions of the Muppets. Uh, especially when you know when friends find it for me too, uh, just because they made some really really gorgeous things over the years, uh, and this Fozzy is one of those really cool gorgeous representations of the Muppet in stuff form. So he's really cool. Uh, let's see. Next up, uh, uh, everyone loves the Popples. I mean, who doesn't love the Popples? The Popples uh, was a line from Hasbro, but this actually was uh, this wasn't an actual Popple. This at Popple is actually 
a bank. This is the Popple Bank that you could buy. Uh, and it's very cool. It still has its little stopper. Uh, it's still in really good shape. It's still really, really cute and really, really fuzzy. Uh, the fur is really nice on it. I love Popple stuff. I've got a number of Popples. Uh, and it's really cool to be able to add the bank now to the collection because I've seen it a number of times and always passed on it. And then sticking with the Popples, we have one of the giant Popples. We have, uh, we have Party Popple. The, the bubblegum colored uh, main popple of the gang. There was Party Popple and PC Popple were kind of the two leaders de facto. Um, but anyone that doesn't remember Popple, Popples were really neat because you basically could tuck them inside themselves like this to the fact where you could have this little hiding Popple or you could have a ball. And then you basically just uh, unpop the Popple like so and you've got, uh, you, you've got a little uh, stuffed stuff Popple to sleep with and it was really cool. Popples were huge for uh, quite a while in the 80s and then they kind of petered off but um, Popples are really neat. I love Popple stuff. Popples are great. Uh, let's see next up which is pretty cool which goes along this is not complete but uh, I'm sure Brent thought it was just something unique for my collection but it's uh, uh, shows you what they did for robotics in the 80s. The, this is one of the smaller Milton Bradley uh, accessory packs uh, boxed for the robotics and there are some pieces in there. Not all of them uh, are here though. I believe this had four or five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve pieces, and I know there's not twelve pieces in there, but it's cool to, to have this, and I actually have a bunch of extra pieces for robotics that I probably could make uh, a complete version of this box set, but um, this is how they sold uh, in 84 uh, a lot of the accessory packs for robotics were in these boxes, because the robotics were in big boxes too, so this is kind of cool to have. I've never actually seen or held a robotics box accessory pack like this in my hand, and that's kind of cool. Uh, next up, uh, another item for Carrie, which was kind of neat, uh, was Disney Presents Holiday Favorites, the Sing-Along Family Fun Pack, uh, which is two complete, uh, which, which is uh, basically uh, two song books with sheet music uh, and uh, two cassettes with 22 complete songs on there, and uh, and it's pretty cool. It's uh, it's not exactly the Disney characters singing them, but it's uh, it, it is licensed Disney stuff with the song books, and it's really neat to have it in its uh, in its original cardboard packaging. That's pretty cool. Uh, I can imagine these are not easy to come by, uh, and they're pretty hard to find because this cardboard is pretty flimsy. So that's pretty darn neat. Uh, the next up, we got a, a bag full of stuff here, bag full of little goodies. Most of these are um, a few things in here, uh, like the uh, this one's cool, the honorary citizen of Disneyland button, which is something that you whoa, which is something as I throw it at you, which is something you can get uh, you can get at the Disneyland parks. I'm not sure how you get this button. I know this is the Where Dreams Come True uh, logo on here, which was a number of years ago. I think five years ago or whatnot. Uh, but this is uh, this was something you could get if you went to uh, City Hall uh, on Main Street. I, I imagine you could ask them and they would make you an honorary citizen of Disneyland. Or this might have been one of the buttons they give out when you were a part of the parade if you got picked for the parade. So that's kind of cool. I don't have one of those buttons. That's really neat. Uh, next up is just a, a little uh, little aerial PVC that I don't have. Uh, another another piece to add to my creepy aerial shrine, which is awesome. Uh, let's see, uh, a Sebastian spoon. That's kind of neat. It's actually a, it's actually one of those spoons that you could you put in and you could. I'm not going to put my lips on it because who knows where the spoon has been. But it's got a little 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 seashell motif with Sebastian on it, which is kind of neat. And there's a bunch of Disney stuff in here. There's a tiny little PVC Clarabelle cow, which is kind of cute. Uh, not a lot of people are familiar with Clarabelle Cow, but she was one of the uh, early creations uh, in the early days of Mickey Mouse, who kind of stuck around and then went away and then came back again. Um, we got a little modern day looking Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, little Captain Mickey Mouse, I call him Steamboat because he's he's got the Steamboat Willie hat on, but that's cool. Uh, we've got a uh, cute little uh, Donald Duck finger puppet. That's my Donald, it's not good, but it's kind of cute. Just a little PVC size finger puppet of Donald Duck, and that's pretty darn neat. We've got a, a PVC, of course, Goofy, you know, which is Carrie's favorite character of all time. Uh, a neat little PVC Goofy, uh, which she actually does not have. She has a whole ton of these PVC Goofies. This is one that she does not have, which is cool. Uh, this is neat. This is one of the uh, Arco uh, posable Disney characters. She needs a little cleaned up, but this is another Clarabelle cow from the Arco line. They made a number of uh, posable uh, characters like this, and we've got a couple of them. Uh, easy to find the characters, not so easy to find the accessories they came with because they came with a ton of stuff. Uh, but these are really neat. They're they're pretty posable. Legs, arms, head all move, uh, and they're really really well done. That's the cool thing about these two is that's what makes these Arco figures so collectible is they're so well done. And then there's a uh, there's a, a nice really cool vintage goofy back scratcher here, which uh, Carrie will actually use the heck out of because her back always itches. She's always got an itchy back and always making me itch it, and now she can make Goofy itch it. So uh, that's kind of cool. 
And last in this bag, uh, he's missing an arm and a shirt, but this is the uh, Marks Posable Goofy that came out, and he's still got his ears, which is cool. Um, his ears are still posable, and he's still got, well, he's got one of his arms. Um, but these, these move at the arms and the legs, and the heads move. Uh, Goofy's ears can move. They're posable. Um, even though he's missing an arm, that's cool, though, uh, because Carrie and I will keep an eye out. We've seen a couple of uh, what we like to call beater Goofies that we actually probably can pick up another Goofy and then fix the arm and put a, put a shirt on him, so that's pretty darn cool. And that's all in that bag. And last but not least, as we put this box on the ground here, in here, this Brent sent to me, which uh, I actually, I knew he was sending, and I told him, uh, you're killing me because I don't want to have to try to hunt down parts, but I'm not going to because this thing is really cool just as it is as a display piece. But this is actually the uh, the Air Raiders playset. This is the big Air Raiders base. It had panels here that could flip up, that could show the inside here, and it's had the, there's like little rocks here that, that, uh, that could be blown off and, and could fly up thanks to the air channels and stuff. Uh, it's a really cool, a really neat looking playset, and uh, something I always wanted as a kid, never had. So this is really cool to uh, to, to have, just especially as just as a display piece for the Air Raiders line. So it's pretty darn cool. There you go, guys. That'll wrap up uh, this unboxing special right here on ToyWorldOrder.com. Make sure you go to YouTube.com slash ToyWorldOrder, hit subscribe. Helps us out greatly. And as well as uh, while you're doing that, check out our other show on our other channel, YouTube.com forward slash Board the Show. Hit subscribe to it too as well to find out all the crazy antics that happen with myself, Puppet the Ball, and Pixel Dan when we take a look at some of the best and worst games uh, from the 50s to today. And of course, you can go to ToyWorldOrder.com to check out all the great content as well as the amazing podcasts we do, David Duvall, Swiss and Collectibles, Married to the Collection, which is co-hosted by my lovely wife, Carrie Duvall, uh, who is sitting off camera playing with the dogs that you can't see right now. Uh, and so much more. So make sure you guys check that out. Uh, thank you for being fans of ToyWorldOrder.com. Thank you for being fans of myself and Carrie and Dave Draper and everything we do. Um, and thank you to Brent for all the awesome stuff, um, which is very cool. I order two tiny parts. I get a 10-pound box. I don't know how that happens. So, uh, But thank you. And again, uh, guys, uh, make friends with people online and make, uh, you know, uh, because you never quite know what those friends will find for you and hook you up with. So thanks again, guys. And uh, until we see you, uh, until I see you guys again, take care. Gosh, <laughs> you're missing a finger. You're missing an arm. <laughs>